there! Today I'm going to talk about uh, a business item and a personal item. So let's get going. Number one is uh, competing thoughts and two is leopard spots. So let's do leopard spots first. This is the business thing. So this circle or oval represents everything that needs to get done in your business. Now when you're a sole proprietor and you're doing everything yourself, you are Everything in here is done by just you, and you're intimately and immediately connected with everything going on in your business. Now, as your business grows, you may hire on an additional person or two to take care of portions of your business. In fact, these circles will be very big at first because when you bring that person on, they may be doing a third of the total tasks. And then, of course, the rest is up to you. So, still, you are very intimately and uh, thoroughly connected with what it is that you're doing. But as your business grows, you'll add more and more people, and there will be more to do as well. So this, this larger oval is actually getting bigger and bigger. And so this person may do all the cleaning, uh, this person over here may keep the books, and uh, this, this might be you still. Or, or, if you remove yourself entirely from the equation, then all of this should be filled with other people. But something to really, 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 really look out for is this stuff in between the cracks here. This is stuff where nobody has been assigned to do that. And if you're not watching, especially if your organization gets to a certain size, it's very easy for things to be unassigned, and no one's really watching those things. And I call this, everybody's doing their job, but no one's tending the shop. Which means you always need somebody to look at the entire operation holistically, and to be making rounds, be making rounds through all of these different areas to make sure that everything's going smoothly. And if Donald Trump, not a fan, but some good ideas, can't argue with success, um, uh, says hire good people then watch them like a hawk. And uh, to me, part of that isn't just an indication of trustworthiness, but you will, you will also need to look out for these little things that are between where nobody thinks it's their job, and if you are too disconnected from your business, and are letting other people run, even if you're letting people run, just run their various departments, you can't assume that everything is going well. And also inside of, wow, this is getting complicated, inside of somebody's task, it's possible for somebody to not be doing what they're supposed to be doing. And uh, I don't have a name for this, but what I've noticed is if you hire someone by the hour and you say, okay, you're hired on for X amount of hours per week, they will always fill the, the, that amount of hours. It's rare to find someone who will just get their job done very quickly and then just go home. Because the deal that you've set up is that you're purchasing their time. And so, so when you're a small business person, don't lose sight of the fact that you're really, really hiring someone to actually do something, to accomplish something, to produce a certain product or to perform a certain task. So it's possible for somebody to fill up their 30 hours, but it actually only takes 20 hours to do that particular task. So this just gets filled up with whatnot. And that can happen also in this giant scale as well. If you are personally unorganized, if your business is unorganized, then you end, up, you end up with a lot of people inefficiently just putting out fires all the time. And you end up, once you get rid of, I'll put an I for inefficiency here, once you get rid of those inefficiencies, it may be that on the entire scale, you really only needed this amount of effort to get everything, to get everything done. So that's leopard spots. Uh, now I'm going to do a separate video for competing thoughts. So thanks for tuning in. And I hope you got some food for thought.